Now, the president came here to talk about the future of 3D printing. Uh, about a decade ago, many people didn't even know what 3D printing really was. I know, it came with a big question mark, right? But now, as our Taylor Nimmo found out, the Tri-State is proving to be ideal for young people to manufacture their own dreams with the technology. Additive technologies or 3D printing is the future of manufacturing and local kids are getting the chance to experiment with this technology from a young age in a way no other generation has before. I think I grew up in the right time. <laughs> um, a lot of new tech coming out, making everything easier. Anderson High School student Drew Milam had an interest in additive technology from a young age. It's cool. I, I like to see technology evolve um, and whenever I see something you know, new and exciting. I always try to jump on it. Milam got his first 3D printer when he was 12. He was fascinated by it and we gave him a, a like a desktop 3D printer for Christmas and he started, you know, printing out directions from, you know, YouTube on how to make things. Just being able to create something digitally and see it just come to life in front of me and it was, it was really satisfying. Many schools in the greater Cincinnati area have 3D printers available, but kids can also experiment with additive technology at the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library's Makerspace. So the early exposure to STEM, which is what 3D printing really is at its base, um, it's a great way to expose kids to the idea that maybe they could be an engineer, maybe they could be an architect somewhere down the line. Drew is now 16 years old. He believes his experience with additive technology will be beneficial for his future. It's going to be a valuable skill to have to get into the workforce, especially as an engineer. He's since gotten into software development. The game development work that he got into really stemmed from that little 3D printer. And as for the future of 3D printing, we're going to be seeing things like houses be printed in 3D. We're going to see bridges being built in 3D. Um, really, the possibilities are endless. If you do want to try out some of the library's 3D printing, they recommend that you make a reservation ahead of time. You can do that online up to six weeks in advance. Reporting from downtown, Taylor Nemo, WCPO 9 News.